In this presentation, we will calculate regular pay and overtime pay and enter that information into this portion of our payroll register. First, let's take a look at what we have so far in our payroll register. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. We're only dealing with two employees here. Those two employees, then their filing status, married or single, number of allowances, and then we'll get into the uh, regular hours. One has hours, the other's a salaried employee. And then we got uh, the regular rate. So note that this information would typically come from, and if we were just to populate the payroll register for the first time or have a new employee, this information would come from the W-4. So remember that the employee would fill out the W-4. W-4 would give us the address, the name, social security number, number of allowances, which is what we will need here. And uh, so we'll populate that information using the W-4. So once we have that type of basic information, we can calculate the regular pay. Now it's a straightforward calculation. We're gonna uh, do these calculations over here so we can see it in more of, of a vertical fashion. And then we'll go back and put that same calculations into our register. So the regular pay is, is going to be the number of regular hours Remember that in our example, we're gonna say that there's actually 43 hours total. So there's 43 hours total. And it, and if we're subject to overtime, then you have to have a 40 hour work week for a federal overtime rate. If it's, if it's it could be more strict depending on the state, if the state has more strict res, uh, restrictions on overtime pay. But we're gonna say here that there's a 40 hour work week, 43 hours were worked for our, our employee that is an hourly employee. And therefore, 40 is our regular pay and three hours would then be the overtime pay. So for the regular pay, then we're just going to take the number of regular hours, 40, and we're going to multiply that times the rate, 17. And then we'll just multiply that out, which would be equals. And I'm going to say the 40 times with the asterisk, the 17 and enter. So there's our regular pay. Now the overtime pay. We're going to have to do a, an overtime calculation to get the overtime rate, and then we can calculate what the overtime pay will be. So to do that, we're going to do this a couple different ways just so we fully understand what's going on here with the overtime rate. So we're going to start with the regular rate. So that's going to be the 17. And then we're going to increase it. We'll start with the idea that the increase is typically we call it time and a half, and we can represent that a couple different ways. One is you can basically say what, what that is is pretty much a 50% raise for anything that's overtime. So if we multiply times 50% or 0.5, we would say, okay, then the increase would be 17 times 0.5, and that would give us 8.5 .5 increase. If we add that to the original 17, then the overtime pay will equal the increase plus the original 17, or in this case, $25.50. So that's kind of a long way to calculate it, but just note that uh, that's it's similar type of calculation if we were to say uh, do like a tip calculation where we're trying to say that how much will we uh, pay if we had to add an addition, in this case 50%, which would be a large number, but if we're saying 50% uh, increase, then how much would we have to pay? Well, we might first calculate the increase and then add it to the, to the original. The faster way to do that uh, would be indicated by the name time and a half would be 17 and we're just going to multiply it times time one and a half 1.5 so overtime rate will be equal then to the 17 times 1.5 and that'll give us our 2550 and then one more way just to look at that just to note that if we took out our, reg our original 17 1.5 is 150 percent 
So just note what we're doing is multiplying it times 100% plus another 50% or 150. So that's the 17 times the 150 is the same 2550. So once we have that, then we can calculate our overtime uh, hours here, or overtime pay, which would be the number of overtime hours. Remember, we had 43 total hours minus 40 for regular uh, pay, regular hours, times our rate, 2550, gives us equals overtime pay of three dollars or three hours times the 2550 or 7650. So we'll just do the same calculation over here in our worksheet. We're going to say that the uh, regular pay in cell F50 will be equal to 40 times 17. The overtime rate will be equal to the regular rate of 17 times 1.5, 1.5%. So the overtime pay will then equal be equal to the overtime hours times the overtime rate and then we'll get to our total earnings so our total earnings are just going to be the regular earnings then plus the overtime earnings so that will be equal to the 680 regular earnings plus the 7650 overtime earnings okay so then the salaried employee we're just going to say that they're salaried so that's typically going to be pretty straightforward the salary pay uh, that we have is 3653.85, so I'm just going to give that in this problem. And of course, we don't have to worry typically for most salaries uh, paid employees about the overtime, meaning they're going to be uh, exempt from the overtime uh, calculation. So typically, we don't need to uh, track the hours and uh, count the overtime and, and pay the overtime pay. Therefore, we're just going to say that this equals the regular pay. Then we're going to sum up uh, the totals and get the totals for the pay period for our two employees by using our sum function equals sum double click the sum function highlight the, the uh, 680 to the 3653.85 and there we have it we're going to do the same thing for the total earnings note uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do that for the uh, overtime pay and uh, the pay rate it doesn't that doesn't give us a whole lot more information total earnings ha however does so we're going to say equals sum double click the sum function highlight those two and total earnings then four thousand four hundred ten and thirty five cents